All right, guys, it's day seven. We might uh, cut a little bit into day eight with how late I'm doing this. But for today's video, uh, I made the Hogyoku, okay? And I'll show you what it does. So we have we have this little hand. You could you could say it's Aizen's hand, right? He hands you the Hogyoku. It gives you a tool. So yeah, the challenge was, I have a part that like you click it and it gives you a tool, right? And, but I, I added on to it. There was this other comment, right? That was like, make something where if you press it, it like does a, it does random stuff. I, I, I don't know exactly what the comment said. Um, I'm going off my memory here, but uh, essentially that's what it was, right? So I fused the two ideas together and I got this. So now I made it so that when you click, it gives, it gives you something random. So it can give you smoke. It could apply a, a random transparency to your body parts. It could apply a random color to your body parts. Currently, it only seems to be setting the transparency to one, which is weird. So I might have to fix that. But every time you click, it gives you a number between one and six or one and five. And there's five different things it can do to you. Oh yeah, the, the katana, um, still the same. I'm actually, I actually don't know where the, where, like, where to add the debounce. Like, I, I know how to make a debounce, but, like, I don't know where specifically to add it in the katana script. And I'll show, I'll put it on screen in a second, but, um, so yeah, you can get fire from the Hokioku. Well, it's giving me fire and smoke. It's not, but you can get random colors for your body parts. So if I just spam click this, I'm just going to get really deformed. Yeah. It, it also changes the size of your body parts. So you could get thin, thin, flat, whatever. Nate, you name it, right? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so yeah, this is the, this is the script. Uh, yes, it's named the strength of the Hogyoku. Um, so I'll just run through this with you. So obviously I made a tool, right? And this tool is in replicated storage. Um, when you, when you click the hand, right? When you click the Hogyoku in the hand, it changes, it makes a clone of the tool and then puts it in your backpack, essentially. Like that's, that's pretty much what this is. And then you go to this and this is where, like, this is the, like the function of the, of the Hogyoku itself. So first of all, you have the body parts of the character, right? Which is stored under the player's character or the, like your actual model when it's activated. So when you click with the tool, it, it does one, it does, it gives a random number from one to five, right? If that number is one, then, and this, this is auto coded, um, like as a suggestion from like the, the new Roblox feature, but I just like, I just kept it. Um, so I, I Loki can't really explain this very well, but to me, it just seems like it's making a particle. Um, it's setting that particles parent to a body part. It's setting the particle size to 10 and the, and the heat, I don't know what heat is like, what, what even is that anyways? But yeah, these, these are two like auto coded from Roblox. I just wanted to add something goofy. It's like when it, when it suggested this, I just, I hit tab and I let it, I let it do its thing. But, uh. These next three, um, my friend Saint Kosa helped me figure out how to do like random stuff with a table, if that makes sense. So it makes a variable, a variable called random, right? And this variable is equal to a, a, like a random body part. So this here gives gives you a random body part, right? And that random body part will then gain the transparency like from zero to one then if that number is four it does, essentially does the same it grabs one of these random body parts from this table and then it changes the size um to a random size between 0 0.1 and four so that's why you saw some of the body parts i had were thin i kind of don't like that so i'm gonna put it at one one to four i think 0 0.1 is a little too thin and then if the number from math out random is five then once again grabbing the body parts a random body part and that random body parts color um is between okay usually color isn't like 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 these isn't zero to one right but i don't know Senkos explained it to me or it's actually just you could just put zero to one and it just prints any random color so that's kind of it uh there's one more thing i have to mention and that has to do with the dice so the dice right i don't know how i didn't think of this before but the dice that gets cloned I made it a variable 
so it's not just cloning the same dice right so now that allows us to destroy it so it's actually destroyed it didn't it didn't make its parent replicate storage and we can prove this by like spam if i spam the button let it drop a little no matter how many times i do it 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 doesn't retain its previous velocity because it's a completely new cloned dice so that fixes that issue really the only thing we have to do is like have it print i'm still trying to figure out a good way to do that st costa suggested ray casting which i haven't learned yet but yeah so that's that's it for tonight